What is up gamers? Welcome back to another Gundag Outdoors episode. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be the Shimano Corrado versus a just conventional bait caster out here on the pond today with Hayden. And we're gonna be going pretty much head to head. I'm gonna be throwing the Corrado DC that I just got, and he's going to be throwing just a regular conventional bait caster. I think he has a what do you have? Lose? Oh, Daya was something or another like that. So we're coming out on the same pond that I did the review and unboxing video of the Corrado, so did catch a few wilds out here. So today's goal is, it's gonna be somewhat of a competition. It's gonna be whoever just catches the most fish. There's not a lot of fish in here, but there are a couple big ones. Most of them are small, but it should be a good time either way. So this should be a pretty good representation of a digital control reel versus a regular bait cast and we're both gonna be throwing jigs uh, probably gonna do around the same color and see who catches the most fish I don't think it's gonna be much of a difference it's actually gonna really depend on who's a better fisherman here I think I'm gonna win but let's see about that so let's get to fishing we got a couple outs here and let's see if we can't catch any big old bass all right before we do start the challenge I want to get Hayden's reaction he's never thrown a digital control have you thrown a digital control he never thrown a digital control reel before so I'm gonna go ahead and get his reaction the first time ever throwing it what setting is it on Two? Okay. You, you, no, no, put on two. Why you got... Yeah. Alright. Okay. I like the sound. Okay, just reel it in. Tell me how smooth that is. It's smooth. It's real nice. I like the look of it too. Yeah. Alright, put it up to the fourth setting. I want you to feel the break. Got it on the fourth setting. It like, there's like no... It doesn't like let you go. Yeah. But you can cast it just go. as far, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Cast as far as you can and don't put your thumb on it. Okay. That probably wasn't as far as I could. Uh, okay. Good but, night, look at the bass. But it didn't go at all? Did you put your thumb on it? Mm-mm. Yeah, let me straight. try. Yeah, throw as hard as you can without putting any thumb on it. That still went a good ways. Look at that, not a one little break. So that is pretty cool. This is like my literal second time using this thing and I just want to get his reaction to seeing the old digital control work. It is, it's kind of weird. It goes the same distance that you would normally go, but it, it, you feel the pull back on it. It's really cool. Right, anyway, so let's go ahead and start this challenge. I'm gonna put that in Oh, it came off. Oh, I got one. It's a dang big one, too. Oh, dang. It's a good one. God, I didn't even feel like a fish. It's a freaking big one, dude. Holy cow. It's a big one. It's a big one, dude. Like big, like three pounder. It's like a three pounder. Here, get my tripod. Hold on. Grab him, grab him. Him. <laughs> there we go. That's like a three. <laughs> Dang. It's pretty good one. Here, shoot. Okay, I got it out though, but it is bleeding. All right, let's. Let me like let her sit in the water. Oh, Corrado, think, got it done. I think she's doing okay. I didn't think it was a fish. It wasn't even fighting, it was just weight. Dang. That's a good one right there. Definitely a three pounder. Good night, looks so much bigger on camera. Hey, no, I'll take that one. <laughs> Sweet. All right. All right. You wanna go get the scale? Yeah. All right, let's get a weight on her and let her go. Saying 215. What's your guess? Hmm. Two and a half. Well, it's not, uh, actually, it's not in ounces, actually. It's in points. 317. Dang. 317 on the scale. So 17 what? Uh, Just... 3.17. Oh. So it's a pretty good one. Let's let her go. Dang. You got it? Yeah. 
come out. Thank you, big girl. Well, dang. That's like one of the biggest fish I've ever caught out of this lake. That's pretty good, I guess. That was literally the first fish I caught. I lost one right here at the dock, and I was just talking to Hayden that I don't even know if like, I'm going to make a video of the bite, so it's like, not good. He went all the way down to the money spot over there and didn't even catch one, so. I don't know, maybe they're out in the middle. That was, I mean, that's definitely the biggest ever, just caught this fan casting here in the middle. Maybe they're just stacked up the middle, I don't know, but let's get the fishing. I am so hung and I have 20 pound of line. Got it. Dang it. <sighs> well, I gotta go find another jig. Of course, I just caught one of the biggest fish in the lake and I have to retie. Dang it. I normally wouldn't mismatch colors, but just because that jig was mismatched, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on an orange and green pumpkin jig with a blue tail. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll give it a shot. Another one. There we go. Boom. Number two. I'll take him still. Actually a little bit bigger than the stunted size that's in here, but still not very big, but way smaller than the first one. I'll take him. Hey little weedless Cinco. Going up, really. You can't do anything about a grass. That's a pretty fish. That's good. Number three. Boom. All right, number three. So I'm up three one. All right, so we're gonna take a little break of fishing right now, and we're gonna do kind of a more of a casting competition. Which of the rods goes farther? I'm gonna put the throttle on the lowest setting, which is one, which is the least amount of break. And see if I can't go farther. It says in, you know, the trailer videos and description videos that it makes it cast farther. So I'm gonna put that to the test right here. Throw the Corrado first and then I'll throw his. What would you got? Daiwa. Daiwa. It's a Daiwa. I don't know what it is. It is a Daiwa. It's a Daiwa, but I don't know what. All right, so we're gonna throw it out there kind of get a decent marking of where it is and then I'll throw his dial one and see uh, if it goes anywhere close. All right, look exactly where that is. <laughs> Let me see that. I thought that's that much line on the thing. All right, so. That's the, a good bit difference. Yeah, that's what, five yards? Probably more than that. Mm. Mm. Probably between five and 10 yards on actual casting distance. Here you go. Oh, you. So I guess the, 250, how much was that? Like 50? Yeah, so a $200 difference, you can get a five yards a little bit farther. And that's at full casting capacity. Full casting strength. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty good test. I don't really know what else you can do. I guarantee if I threw that reel without putting any thumbing on it, it would backlash. What do you, you think? What, this? Yeah, what, this what's, your, what's your thoughts? I think it would, let's not try. <laughs> Why not? What do you got to lose? All that, line. <laughs> all, that, all that line? All that line. All that line. All right. Well, let's get back to fishing. It's been kind of slow. Probably won't be here for too much longer. What time is it? I said 3.30, then we'll check in. So that'll be 20 minutes. No, we got here at 3.20, 3.10. We've been here for 50 minutes. It's 4 o'clock right now. So how about we go 30 more minutes? I may move around the pond a little bit, see if I can get any more bites. But I'm winning, as of right now, 3 to 1. There's one. Oh, I just had it. I just got it. There he is. Boom. Got him. I watched him kind of swim around trying to get it, but this took a little bit of persistency. Dang, that's a small one, but I'll take him. Number four. All right, fix and test out your magic spot. There's one. I did not set the hook on him, but I got him. Oh, get over the hip here. Catch and release, I touched him. Yeah, I touched him. All right, well, I'm gonna call it there. I think I caught six in total. How many did you get? One. Huh. Well, 
I will say the Corrado and the digital control being able to cast it farther was the reason I caught that big fish because I could throw it really far out in the middle and then hit the bottom and I could just drag it through the grass. So I would say that would really help. But over here in the small stuff and whatever, it's more just the way you work the lure, not necessarily the reel. But being able to make you know accurate casts without backlatching also does help. So I guess technically you could call the Corrado DC the winner of this challenge. Alrighty folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a change of pace. Usually I will do just straight fishing or just do a challenge fishing itself. But today I came here with my new Corrado DC and did a little challenge between a conventional baitcaster and a digital control. And the digital control statistically did be, was the winner of this challenge. I think it caught six at the end and Hayden did get one. Hey, that was a decent one he did catch, but the winner, true winner of today was that big fish I caught all the way out in the middle. That is one of the biggest fish I have ever caught out of this pond. I have seen a couple of five pounders swim around, but never been able to catch them. If you guys enjoyed this kind of head-to-head -head real challenge video, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any other video ideas with the new Corrado DC, leave them in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.